Today in the Detail Garage, we're gonna go over an in-depth tutorial on how to remove swirl marks and scratches from any colored vehicle. Now, swirl marks and scratches are often the biggest point that bring down the look of any car. That's because swirl marks and scratches actually diffuse the light and cause the paintwork to look old and neglected and dramatically reduces the gloss of any color paintwork. Now, we're gonna be using what's called a one-step polishing scenario to improve the paintwork and make sure any of the swirl marks and scratches are erased from the finish. Now to do that, we're gonna be using the Chemical Guys VSS Scratch and Swirl Remover. Now this is a brand new product that's designed with advanced technology to cut like a compound, yet finish like a polish. Now this is a one-step polishing uh, product that's actually gonna work by hand or machine. And we're also gonna be using this with a dual action polisher today. We're gonna to be using the Torque 10FX to refine the finish and restore this red paintwork. So let's start from the beginning and go ahead and break down every step on how to remove swirl marks and scratches. Now before I polish this entire 370Z, I'm gonna do a 50-50 difference and show you the exact steps on how to get the job done properly, just like a pro. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to clay bar the surface. But the vehicle feels extremely rough and has tree sap over the entire surface. So I'm gonna be using a Chemical Guys medium clay bar, and this is gonna go ahead and remove any above surface contaminants. Now above surface contaminants are anything like overspray, rail dust, brake dust, industrial fallout, and pollution that stick on the paint. Now it's important to remove this at the beginning of the polishing process, because if you don't, all that contamination is gonna get stuck in your pad and your polish, and it's gonna reduce the cutting power of your machine. So it's good to eliminate all those contaminants off the surface before we start. So now that I got my clay bar all set up, we can go ahead and start. Now, if you'd like to check out more videos about how to wash your vehicle or how to prep your car before you start polishing, or even how to use clay bars, clay mitts, or clay discs, you can go ahead and click the link below. It's gonna take you to our rest of our YouTube channel, and it's gonna give you hundreds of tips and tricks on how to get started with polishing. We've already washed this car today, but we have several other videos on our website and our YouTube channel that actually help break down the wash process. So now that the surface is clean, I'm gonna use some quick detail spray to saturate the surface. You can use clay lube, but it needs to be clay lube or quick detail spray for ultimate lubrication. I'm going to take my clay bar and I'm going to gently scrub the surface. Now this is going to pull off all the contamination that's on the surface. Now there's two types of contamination. There's above surface contaminants and below surface contaminants. Below surface contaminants are things like stains, etching, and any type of contamination that isn't felt on the top if the paint feels smooth. Uh, above surface contaminants are actually things like rail dust, overspray, bird droppings, and any type of industrial contaminants that are stuck on the paint. As you can see, my clay bar is already starting to turn a brown color, which means that I'm pulling off all the contamination and making sure that our paint feels smooth. Now on our website, chemicalguys.com, we actually feature a wide selection of clay bars and clay mitts. So if you're looking for the proper clay bar or clay mitt for your application, go over to our website, check it out. We have a huge selection. That way you can pick the right tool for the right job. For me, I like using a clay bar. It helps me get the job done. And it's easy to grip in my hand and also conforms to all the surfaces. Now I don't want to forget the lower panel. I'm only going to be polishing this area on the video before we polish the rest of the car here in our detail garage. So now that I got my surface completely clayed and decontaminated, I'm going to put my clay bar away. Always remember to put it inside the container to make sure that it doesn't get dirty. I'm going to grab a premium microfiber towel and I'm going to dry off the surface. Now that I got my surface clayed and decontaminated, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bare hand and I'm gonna feel the surface to make sure that I don't have any contamination on there. Now this paint feels smooth as glass and it's ready to be polished. So let's get started on the polishing process. Now just for you guys at home watching this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put a 50-50 uh, line difference on this paint. Now I'm gonna do an angle this time So you guys can see at home, on camera, what the difference looks like when you're done polishing. 
Now, when you're polishing any type of paintwork, you don't need to put tape on the paintwork like I am. This is only to give a 50-50 before and after, just so you guys can see how the product works. So now let's begin polishing. Now my tool of choice for this job is going to be the Torque 10FX Dual Action Polisher. Now you could use a rotary or any other type of machine polisher that you choose. I'm going to use a dual action polisher because it's going to minimize the amount of pressure and the amount of work that's done on the paint. Plus the dual action polisher has the capabilities to do what's called a one step. That's where we cut like a compound and we actually finish like a polish. Now, years ago when polishing uh, just started and paint technology was changing, it used to be the standard in the industry to do what's called a two or a three step paint correction. That's where you use a compound, a cutting polish, and then you actually finish up with a finishing polish to restore the finish. Now with newer technology and newer abrasives that we put into the VSS scratch and swirl remover, it actually allows us to do a one step polish because the newer abrasives break down cut like a compound and finish like a polish. So this is a big advancement to getting detailing done a lot faster. So let me plug in my machine and get my pad ready. Now for this job, I'm gonna be using an orange HexLogic cutting pad. You can actually use a green, a white, or a microfiber cutting pad for this job. I'm gonna use an orange cutting pad because that's gonna help cut a lot of the swirls and scratches out. And this car was built in 2011, but it has heavy swirl marks and scratches over the entire vehicle. So let's go ahead and take care of that today. Now that I got my pad set on my machine, let's take my scratch and swirl remover, shake it up, and let's place five to six dots right on the pad. Now this can be done by hand if you choose. I like polishing a machine because it's gonna give faster, more accurate results and restore the paintwork. Now I'm also gonna be using some quick detail spray just for a lubrication to get my pad started to make sure that I have a nice smooth start when I'm using my machine. So let's start polishing. I'm gonna polish this side of the uh, area and then inspect, maybe work it a little more and then we'll show the before and after. Now I'm going to spread this on speed setting one and then I'm going to bump it up to speed setting six to make sure that the polish breaks down and removes all the swirls. So let's get started.
So now that we've finished our polishing, I'm going to go ahead and buff off any excess polish. Now the scratch and swirl remover actually works so well that you only have to use a little bit of polish and when you're done there should be barely any polish to remove. That's because the compound breaks down to finish exactly like a polish. So now I'm going to remove my tape and we're going to go back into the sun and show you guys the real before and after difference. So now you'll really see exactly how well the scratch and swirl remover can remove any type of swirl, scratches, and oxidation from any type of color. And we're going to go pull it outside to show you guys the difference. We'll see you in a few minutes. So now you've seen the results that we were able to get from a one-step polish using VSS Scratch and Swirl Remover. And we were able to pull out all the swirl marks and scratches and get about a 95% defect removal. And that's great for a car that's almost five years old. Plus this red paint now has a deep, warm luster that's hard to find on red paint. And that's all because we removed all the swirl marks and scratches and improved the reflectivity. Now if you want to polish any type of vehicle in one step using the best technology available, pick up VSS Scratch and Swirl Remover to make sure that the paint looks great all year long. Now hopefully you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to click that subscribe button to check out all of our latest videos on how to take care of any car, truck, motorcycle, and RV. Plus you're going to get tips and tricks from the pros and see the latest on product information. Now hopefully we'll see you next time right here in the Detail Garage. But always remember to have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing.